In the heart of ancient Sparta, King Leonidas, the son of the late Spartan king Anaxandrides, ascended to the throne in 490 BC, following the mysterious and violent demise of his older half-brother Cleomenes I. A true Spartan leader, Leonidas held both political and military roles, embracing the rigorous training that shaped all Spartan men. From a young age, Leonidas, like his fellow Spartan citizens, was honed mentally and physically, a preparation to become a formidable hoplite warrior. Armed with round shields, spears and iron short swords, these warriors stood ready to defend their homeland. They employed a remarkable formation known as the Phalanx, where rows of hoplites formed a wall of shields granting unparalleled protection against frontal attacks. Yet, the Achilles' heel of the formidable phalanx formation was its vulnerability to flanking attacks, a critical weakness that would prove fatal during the Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC when confronting the invading Persian army. Standing resolute against the colossal Persian army, King Leonidas understood that he faced overwhelming odds Yet his determination to defend his homeland and safeguard the spirit of freedom was unwavering. As the sun ascended on that fateful day, at the Battle of Thermopylae, King Leonidas rallied his warriors. These were not just soldiers, they were brothers bound by honor, loyalty, and the unbreakable Spartan code. Each warrior bore the weight of their city-state on their shoulders and was prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. The narrow pass of Thermopylae became the arena, allowing the Spartans to withstand the vast Persian forces whose numbers seemed infinite. The clash of spears and shields reverberated through the canyon as Leonidas and his warriors fought with unparalleled courage and skill. From a distance, King Xerxes watched in astonishment at the Spartans' determination. He admired their resilience, but believed in the inevitability of their defeat. With each wave of Persian assaults, Leonidas and his warriors remained resolute, forming an impenetrable wall of bronze. For three days, the battle raged on, and despite the overwhelming odds, the Spartans held their ground. However, the Spartan victory was short-lived. Overwhelmed by sheer numbers, they eventually fell in battle. King Leonidas fought valiantly until the very end, refusing to surrender. He embodied the Spartan warrior ethos, and his sacrifice became a symbol of bravery and patriotism resonating across the ages. Their valor and sacrifice inspired other Greek city-states to unite in their cause, standing together against the Persian invasion. Although Leonidas and his Spartans met their end there, the Athenian navy's triumph at the Battle of Salamis forced the Persians to retreat, safeguarding Greece. Leonidas's ultimate sacrifice demonstrated Sparta's unwavering commitment to the defense of the Greek region, a testament to their valor and dedication. The story of the Battle of Thermopylae and the sacrifice of King Leonidas and his 300 warriors stands as a timeless testament to the indomitable human spirit and the power of a few brave souls willing to stand against overwhelming odds for a just cause.